that HLH truck and you got a radio on in there? Yeah, go ahead. Well, how are we doing this fine evening there, sir? Oh, not too bad. Just taking a little evening stroll. And I appreciate you getting the truck out so we can have a look at it, what it does uh, out here on the old avenue. No problem. Thanks for coming out with me. Well, tell me, who am I talking to? And uh, tell me about the truck and what you do with it. Uh, name's Luke Leister. We're out of Manaway, Ohio, northeastern Ohio there. And, uh, a little bit of aggregate, grain, fertilizer, uh, anything you put in a dump trailer without beating it up too bad. Uh, tell me about the truck here and what you do with it. Uh, this truck here we built for Louisville. Uh, this is the second show it's been down to. I've dumped one load out of it, a load of stone out of it. And it's got a load of sand on it right now. I'm going up to Jacksonville, Florida to a water filtration plant. Um, the truck's a 2016 fish trail glider kit. Uh, the trailer's a 2016 back dump trailer, frameless. Well, 10-4, it's looking pretty good there. Thank you, appreciate it. up pretty good there. What do you got for lights? Trucks. Truck lights are du the dual functional. They're DOT legal going down the road. And then you can just hit a switch and you can turn them all, turn them all blue. Roger that. You wouldn't mind us having a peek at them blue lights now, would you, for a second? Nope. Glad to show you. That's mighty nice. That's that's pretty good. I'm sure a lot of folks like that, huh? What do you got for a light count there? Uh, 
I want to say we're up around 160 there. I had a little boy there at the truck show caught him for me, and he was up in the 160, so it's got to be right around that ballpark. Yeah, roger that. Now, how long you been trucking for? I've uh, been running the truck there for about, oh, 15 years there. Been running flatbed, dump bucket, over the road. I'm sure when you started, you weren't running a fine piece of equipment like this. What would you start in? No, I started in a triaxle dump truck there, doing excavation with a little tag-along trailer, and just doing small basements and running construction equipment. What's the deal with uh, HLH Trucking? Uh, HLH Trucking is owned by Rich Hart out of Pierpont, Ohio. I used to drive for him as a company driver, and then I uh, I purchased my own truck and trailer there, and uh, still remain good friends with Rich, still work together for the same company, and um, he built this for Louisville this year, and uh, he had to get back to work, so he offered me to take it down to Wildwood, Florida, and. I uh, gladly accepted and said I'd do the honors for him. Well, I'm sure that wasn't a hard decision there, right? Oh, no, sir. Uh, you didn't have to ask me twice. Now, what are some of the favorites that people uh, mention about the truck when they come up and see it? You know, it's only been, uh, this would be the second show. What are people saying that they like when they come up and see it? Uh, first thing they usually mention is the color. They really like like the like the color blue on it. Uh, the clean look. Not too many lights on the truck itself. They're all kind of hidden up underneath there. And then uh, on the trailer, it's mostly about the lights. Lights underneath of it. Uh, just trying to be a, a nice, smooth, clean, clean look. Roger that. How long did a truck build like this take you guys to get it uh, get it all finished up from start to finish there? Oh, uh, the truck there he purchased last August this past year, so he worked on it from August up to uh, a week before Louisville at his own personal garage there at the house. The trailer was all built by Mack Trailer themselves. 
Um, they did all the lights, all the custom work, and the trailer took uh, about one month uh, from the assembly line or rolling down to Louisville. It was about a month. Well, not too bad, not too bad. So what's the future life for, uh, for this truck going to be? I would say this year worked very little to try to maintain the shows and keep it clean for the shows. Makes it easier on us for cleaning it. Um, next year it will probably be a, a work truck, probably not an everyday work truck, but it, it will eventually see the gravel pits and the corn fields and the farms and whatever else, coal fields, coke, steel mills, scrap yards, it, it will eventually work. It'll be a shame to see it work, but at the same time, every truck's got to earn its keep there, right? Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to ask you there, some guys will say, hey, well, I want to get out of what I'm doing right now. Who knows what they might be operating or, or what kind of equipment they might be running with there. What would you say to a guy that would want to run a dump bucket or do what you do? What, what are they up against? Uh, it's a little challenging. Uh, anybody can learn anything. It's just more a lot of common sense, how to dump it and where to dump it. Um, how to take care of your equipment while you're dumping a load and loading it. Um, it, it, it it's not really that back-breaking work when you do it the smart way and just use your head. Yeah, Roger that. So, what, what are some of the things you'd have to deal with on an everyday basis that a new guy might need to learn? Well, if you're a knee freak and want your truck clean all the time, the dump business probably wouldn't be be the right business. I mean, we do get off-road. I mean, you do bottom out. You do push mud through your rims. Your feet do get dirty. Dirt, gravel does get inside of your truck. But other than that, it will get dusty, muddy. But if you like trucking, uh, it's just another job out there in the field you can do. 10-4, so it seems like a fella's going to have to have a temperament for having a dirty truck and the patience to get it clean again. Yes, sir. And then uh, the time and the willingness to get your truck back clean to where it was. And uh, it's one thing you have to deal with is sometimes having a dirty, dusty truck. Sir, certainly is sounding pretty good. I'd be curious to see what... Uh, what she's working with? Uh, it's a 500 Detroit, 13 speed transmission, 336 rears. Got some uh, flip fenders on the trailer there because the trailer sits pretty low when you dump the air ride. We flipped the fenders out. It's got an air ride front end to uh, get your little clearance off the road. Coming out the side of the cab there that are just dummy stacks. The heat doesn't go through them. We have the exhaust running out to the high panel there with two weed burners. Uh, and the stock exhaust here, we, we have uh, some lights in there, so it gives off a nice glow inside the stacks going down the road. Somebody's going to say, what does he mean, weed burner? So, uh, uh, what's the scoop on that? A uh, weed burner is just an exhaust that stays down low on the truck behind the fuel tank, below the fuel tank. Doesn't run up the side of your truck. So that's kind of a nickname for it there? Yes, sir, weed burner, yeah. 10-4. going down the road all lit up. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. Looks like a fine piece of machinery and I hope to see it at some more shows in the future. Yes sir, you probably will and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for taking a look at my truck. You got it, we'll see you soon. Yes sir.